The Q3 stats are in for the Huntsville, Alabama real estate market, but before we jump into that, make sure you hit subscribe below to stay on top of all the latest Huntsville, Alabama real estate news. One of the stats that really jumped off the page to me is the median sales price is only down 1.3% year over year, which is amazing considering the amount of interest rate increases we've had over the last 12 months. And I think that really points back to the strength of the job market and all the relocation that's coming here into the Huntsville market. As you can imagine with higher interest rates, home sales have fallen for the last 12 months. Uh, you look at Q3 of this year versus Q3 of last year, we're down 20.3% in terms of home sales, 2,331 down to 1,858 home sales. That's back all the way six years to the 2017 levels. Now, kind of a side note is if we get back down into the mid sixes or low sixes, I think we'll start to see home sales that are more in the COVID levels of 2,500 home sales or more in that quarter. Pending sales are also down for the month, as you imagine with home sales being down. They are down a little bit more than home sold, which home sold was 20.3%, pending sales are down 21.7%. The number of homes selling is actually continuing to drop here towards the end of 2023, as we've seen interest rates peak above 8%. With fewer homes being sold, as you can imagine, the amount of inventory in the market is increasing. Listings are up 20.8% from 1496 to 1807. That is still only represents a 2.7 months worth of supply versus only 1.1 months of supply this time last year. And our average days on market is only 26 days compared to 12 days last year. And this really is still one of the best markets that I've worked in and over the last you know, decade and a half, you go back a decade and this is still a stronger market than we had in terms of home selling quickly. It just doesn't feel that way based on the really uh, hyper seller market that we've experienced over the last couple of years. Great news for buyers is that inventory is up across all the different price bands with the exception of this $350,000 to $500,000 price band. And one of the reasons for that is it's just been so popular with move up buyers and a lot of new construction in the area being found in that price point. It's 26% of the market right now, 477 homes sold. Even more important than that price band is just south of that, you know, the 200 to 350, if you wanna combine those, those price bands, that makes up 46% of the market, 856 homes sold. And it's so important because that's where our median income can afford a home in the Huntsville area. And so as people are moving to the area, purchasing their first home, that is a very important price band and starter home market. And the incredible thing is that $250,000 to $300,000 price band is up an incredible 91.5%, which is a hats off to our local builders. I'm not sure how they pull this off with inflation and land values going up, but they found a way to create a affordable product here in Huntsville for our first time home buyers. So hats off to our home builders. Some other local economy stats that came out with this report as well is our GDP is up uh, to $25.4 billion from $23.9 billion. So we continue to grow in this market. And then our population as well, we continue to have individuals and families moving to the Madison County area. We're up to 406,026 people from just south of 401,000, 400,898 this time last year. Also great news for our area is the median household income is continuing to increase. And so the income for the entire household this time last year was just south of $77,000 at 76,977 and up to $81,968, which is I think is another reason why a lot of buyers should focus on purchasing home today because some buyers will wait until they get that promotion or get a raise at work. But what happens is as they get promotions and raises at work, we're also seeing inflation and home values go up. And so I really encourage people to go ahead and invest in a home today, get their purchase price locked in. And then when they get that raise, they're able to benefit from that from a higher quality of life and standard of living and giving and those type of things versus having to just spend that towards inflation and a higher purchase price later on. So in conclusion, we're headed in the right direction in terms of supply in this area. Um, we're still south of that kind of normal um, housing supply of four to six months worth of supply, but we're heading in that direction, so that's a good sign. Now on the flip side, the challenge is we're 
you know, we're at a decade high in terms of interest rates or even more than a decade high in terms of interest rates, yet we're still not to that four to six months worth of supply. And so interest rates have been ticking down and if they continue to tick down into 2024, I expect for that to eat at our housing supply and a lot of uh, potential buyers coming off of the sidelines and, and gobbling up a lot of that inventory. And so, um, that's the thing that we should be looking at going forward is can new construction builders keep up with the demand for the area or do we find ourselves in a low supply situation in 2024 or 2025?